What is up? Welcome to the Life Unlimited channel. This is Coach Kayla, and we are talking about another reason why you can't stay consistent. So this is reason number four. Reason number four, why you struggle to stay consistent, is you're relying on emotions to dictate whether or not you perform. Okay? Now this one we tend to use a lot. And one of the biggest obstacles I hear people say they deal with when I ask them, like, what, you know, what's your biggest struggle? Is they have a lack of motivation. Well, I hate to break it to you, but motivation is just an emotion. And to expect it to be present at all times, you're just setting yourself up for failure. Okay, so when creating habits, you may be able to rely on motivation in the beginning, but it will fade. It's like the honeymoon phase, okay? You need to be able to stay consistent with the things on good days, bad days, and every day in between, okay? And honestly, if someone were to ask me, ask me, how do, how do I get motivated? How do I stay motivated? Honestly, I usually tell people to just expect to not be motivated, but expect yourself to do it anyway. Okay, expect excellence. Okay, and excellence looks different every single day, depending on the day. Some days you're going to be more excellent than other days, but you can expect consistency from yourself, right? And that's why accountability, which I'll talk about next video, next week, um, is very helpful, okay? Because if someone else is relying on you, you'll tend to do things regardless of motivation. Think about all of the things that you do, regardless of whether or not you're motivated because it affects someone else, okay? You go to work, whether or not you want to. You clean your house, whether or not you want to. You wipe your kid's bum, <laughs> whether or not you want to, right? Like you do all of these things, regardless of whether or not you feel motivated, because someone else is relying on you, okay? That's why if you have a personal trainer waiting for you at the gym, you'll most likely show up. Like if you have an appointment at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. or whatever time, and if you don't show up for it, then you're letting them down, it makes a huge difference. If you're trying to keep yourself accountable and you're relying on motivation, then you're not going to show up, right? So just like you do all of these other things, okay? Go to work, clean the house, go to doctor's appointments, go to, like, do all these things, right? You just need to establish that precedence with yourself, with your fitness and nutrition as well, okay? This is a commitment. I made a commitment. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway. It's really just committing to yourself and keeping promises to yourself is really what it comes down to, okay? So stop relying on motivation. It doesn't matter. Um, it's not going to be there all the time. There's obviously ways to trick yourself into feeling motivated, right? But ultimately what it comes down to is, are you going to commit and are you going to keep those commitments? We will chat with you next week. Coach Kayla, out.